time now for the morning mix on this Wednesday. Thanks for joining us. Grab that coffee. Come on over. All right. A Bay Area beloved taco spot is getting a new home one year after closing. Yeah. How's Nick's it going? Crispy Tacos is making a comeback. Data SF shows the restaurant registered its new location at 3200 Fillmore Street. Prior to closing, the taco joint had sat on the corner of Broadway and Polk for about 20 years. There aren't a lot of details about the upcoming opening right now, but the San Francisco Business Times reports that Nick's will debut inside Rockwell, which is a lounge at the same address. Okay. I know a lot of people are big fans. Mm, I love these. Them. Do you? I've never tried them, but I hear their fish tacos are delicious. I drive by all the time. I follow them on Instagram. It yeah. looks like so much fun. So I think Gianna and I are going to have to go finally check it out. We absolutely have to. <laughs> their Taco yeah. Tuesday deal is amazing, too. I it's saw it was dangerous. $2 tacos. Yes. And they're $2 for dollars for dollar tacos. tacos. Huge. They're and, not the baby ones. So And $20 margarita pitchers. Wow. That's my jam. Yeah. This All right. Now you, Tuesday? Tuesday. you got me. It's not a Tuesday. Tuesday. That's going to be a uh, watch of Wednesday. <laughs> do they do, <laughs> that, do, they do that at like noon? It starts I, at five, 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 right? Five yeah. to midnight. Okay, that's a good time. <laughs> I think that's what I saw. We have an hour still. <laughs> we can try that. Okay, all right. Well, I'm glad to hear they're coming back. So everyone, clearly we're all excited. Mm -hmm. All right, a new Paramount Plus series will explore the lasting family legacies of music greats. My dad is the greatest rapper of all time. My first crib, we just on a tour bus. I was the OG lesbian baby. <laughs> Family Legacy is a new music docuseries that captures artists through the eyes of their children. The show features CJ Wallace, notorious B.I.G. son, Christian King Combs, son of Sean Diddy Combs, and Bailey Seffridge, Seifridge, rather, daughter of Melissa Etheridge, and many more. Family Legacy is set to premiere Tuesday, April 25th on Paramount+. Plus. Paramount, by the way, is the parent, parent company of KPIX. I think this is going to be a really interesting show because mm -hmm. I, it's really cool to see a perspective like this from the kids who grew up in mm -hmm. a completely different environment and atmosphere of just mm -hmm. being your parents on the road mm -hmm. or busy playing concerts. Can you imagine being backstage while your mom or yeah. dad are on stage just what a wild life. thousands of people? Yeah, yeah. it is pretty wild. Stuff to do your homework afterwards mm -hmm. and all I'm, that. I'm going to add that one to my list. Also, just I think it's, it's five episodes I was reading and then uh, just being able to see it through their lens. I mean, they grew mm -hmm. up in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of us maybe wondered, you know, what life like that could be. And you're going to get a little bit of a perspective and get that through their lens. I'm going to, I'm excited for that. Yeah, I am too. I also think too, just to sort of see how many of them are going to dip their toe into the arena when it right. comes to music mm -hmm. or performing after seeing what that life was like. Mm -hmm. So it should be a really good show. April 25th, right? Yep. All right. Just a couple weeks. That's also a special day. It's my birthday. It's your birthday Ooh. that day. I'm pretty sure it's Earth Day around that time too. So. Yes. Shout Lots out to of good things. <laughs> All right. There's no doubt Pixar can make a visually engrossing story with tears to accompany it. And they've shared different themes like death and family, friendship, and even what it means to be human. So what else can they dip their feet into? I've been trying to fill my father's shoes. But I never once asked what I wanted to do. And Pixar, by the way, right here in Emeryville. In Pixar's newest film, Elemental, we follow Ember, a witty, fiery young woman, and her newly formed friendship with a fun water resident named Wade. Makes her questions, uh, makes her question things about her beliefs about the world they live in. Latin-focused media side Romescla says they got a look at the new film that delicately balances how an immigrant love story should be shown. They also say it's a story that honors the sacrifices immigrant parents have made and the cultures we hold close to us and you know fire and water technically don't mesh together so i think there is an underlying about you know theme about interracial relationships as well so this looks beautiful it looks stunning yeah it does and i think also on the surface when i was looking at it i was oh maybe astrology you know fire or water signs yeah. you know but i think the fact that there is a meaning behind it when it comes to that you know immigration experience and um, just obviously when you, you there's different perspectives and you being able to understand one another, I think that's important. And the fact that it's being reflected in a film, that's not something we've always mm -hmm. seen. No, and I think Pixar has done a really good job of mm -hmm. sort of tackling these issues yeah. in a lot of their films and mm -hmm. movies, which is, you know, kudos to them deeper doing meaning. it in a way, deeper meaning, and you can kind of sort of understand it maybe, especially yeah. when kids are watching these things and building those conversations Very and true. moments. So can't wait Is to that see emotional it. story, a Pixar one? The emotions one? Yes, it is. Yeah, I that still so. sticks with me as an adult. So. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, Justin.